I welcome all of you in the lesson number 15 for grade one mathematics. So the quick overview what we studied uh, yesterday. Guys, yesterday we started a new chapter that's shapes and patterns. And the first topic we discussed that was about the position. We discussed different positions uh, inside, outside, top, bottom, near, far, on, and above, below, before, after, in front of, next off. okay? I just quick go through. Inside means the inner side of something and outside means the outer side of something like this boy inside and it's raining outside. Top or bottom, when someone is on upper side, you will say it's uh, stop uh, is on the top, like wrinkle is on the top and he is on the bottom. And the next is near or far. When someone is close, you will say near. And when someone is not close, he is far. So you will say he's far away, right? So you can see that she, this girl is standing near the playground while this boy is far away from the playground. We also discuss on and that above or below. So we can use on for this cat and this boy. This cat is on the table and this boy is standing the table, okay? But when we talk about the upper part of the table, what is above the table, so that is his boy, and what is below this table, under this table, so this is this mouse. So here we use on and above or below. Then we also learn the concept of before and after. So we check this cue that in this cue that Jimbo is before wrinkle and bubble and he's after chuckles and twinkle. If you start from left side after chuckles and twinkles, you'll find bubble. And before this Jimbo, you will find wrinkle and bubble. We also practice with the help of number that after 93, what will come? So you will move forward, count in once, 94. And if I ask you before 93, so you will go back or count back in once and you will say 92. For between, we can say, if we talk about what, who is in between Chekhov and Jimbo, so you will find in the middle, this is Twinkle. So you will say Twinkle is in between Jimbo and Chekhov. Jimbo is between in Twinkle and Rekha. Same as for the number we practice, that was uh, like what comes between 47 and 49. So for uh, 47 or 49, if you want, uh, want to find out which number is that, so from 47, go one time or count in once, 48, or you can directly come from 49 by counting back. So the answer will be same, it will be 48. 48. Guys, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Siddhi, Galim, uh, Siddhi Galim, they all can hear me, okay? Check your uh, system sound. Okay. Thank you, guys. So, the next concept was about in front of, behind, and next to. So, guys, I told you uh, in the class, last class, that for the last one, we use behind. Like, if you see this Umar, so Umar is behind this Jamal. Okay. And if you see this Nasser, this Nasser is behind this Wafa, okay? But what is in front of is opposite. The person who is standing in front of Umar will be in front of, uh, will be Jamal, okay? Who is standing in the front, Jamal. So Jamal is in front of Umar and Umar is behind Jamal. Wafa is in front of Nasser and Nasser is behind Jamal. Ali is in front of Nida and Nida is behind Ali. Okay. And for the next two, you will just check who is exactly next to uh, Jamal, like who is very close up to right side, Jamal and Wafa. So Wafa is next to Jamal and Ali is next to Wafa. Here, Mina and Lela. Lela is next to Mina. Sam is next to Lala. Just guys wait for a minute. Wait for a while please. That's fine now. Okay. So 
Lala is next to Sam and Lala is next to, and Mina and Lala is also in between Mina and Sam. What we are going to do today, guys, we are going to complete this practice zone, okay, related to the positions and then we will check uh, a new topic that is plane shapes. In plane shapes, we will discuss about the different shapes. Uh, we look around our around right and uh, we will check the properties of these plane shapes so let's start now uh, with the practice this practice okay i'm reading the question this is guys on page number 89 so uh, please open page number 89 of your book okay page number 89 of your book you should have colors also in your hand page number 89 of your book. Did you open your book, guys? Page number 89? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good, guys. I'm going to read the question for you. Okay. The question is circle in the red rabbit that is farthest from the tree. Okay, guys. What you have to do, you have to circle with the right color, the rabbit which is farthest from the tree. So guys, you know about the farthest. Farthest means very far, very, very far. Okay, very, very far from the tree. So for your help, what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign the name to these rabbits. Look, this rabbit, if I say its name is A, He is A, this rabbit is B, this rabbit is C, this is D, and this is E, this rabbit is F, and this rabbit is G, okay? Now you have to tell me that which rabbit is very, very far from the tree? This is the tree, okay? Look at this tree and check which is very, very far. You can see this one or this one or this one. Like check and tell me in the chat box which rabbit is very far. Uh, Muhammad is saying E, Yusuf is saying G, Omar, Mohsen is saying G, Ahmad Al-Badi A, Umar Nizar B, Muhammad Kashan E, Muhammad Al-Haji, Suleiman al -Gheli, E, Umar Nizar B, Suleiman Tariq A, Abdul Muid G, Arish E. Yes. Yes, Muhammad Ali, I see, right? Muhammad Al-Sheikh A, Siddi Ghalib A. Guys, how A? A is very near to this tree. How can, be, how can it be A? Far, far, very far. Sayyidu Zafa, Zafa Rashid, okay, Muhammad. Muhammad, Abdul Muid, okay, Muhammad. B, Muhammad E, Muhammad B, Yahya Yusuf E, Ahmad Al Badi E, Muhammad Al Ha'i, Yahya U, G. Sami, Suleiman, very good, guys, very good. That's very good, guys. Uh, most of you were right, their answer was correct. Okay. The answer was correct and the answer is G. This is the rabbit which is farthest from the tree. And many of the students answer it. So the answer is G. He is too much far from the tree. So you can use red color to circle it and you can color it also, okay? So G is very, very far from the tree. This is G, okay? Let me clear it. This is G, okay. Now, what we will do, I have another question for you. What you say that, Muhammad? Circle in red, okay? 
circle in red the diabetes for this so use red color to make a circle okay for that rabbit or you can color it also now the second question circle in blue circle in blue the rabbit that is standing at the bottom of the tree that is very easy guys circle the with the blue which rabbit is standing at the bottom of the tree there is only one zafa very good very good mohammed talha umar mohsin very good suleiman tariq very good zafa rashid very good mohammed kashan very good siddiq ghalib very good umar nizar very good abdul muid very good umar nizar Arish Muhammad Mamoon Suleiman Lugeli Yusuf Mahmood very good Arish very good Ahmed Al Badi very good Sayyid Al Zafa very good Muhammad Ali very good Yahya Yusuf very good That's very really easy question and you can see there is only one rabbit which is standing at the bottom of the tree and he is that rabbit so i take a blue one and i will circle with this rabbit with the blue one okay and you can use it color so guys is that clear to you this activity yes oh very good guys very good next uh, we are going to start a new topic that is plain shapes plain shapes guys when you look around yourself when you look around you you can find too many things in your room in your classroom outside okay when you go when you visit some place you can see the objects they are having different shapes some of the shape is like this hmm some of the shape is like this some of the shape is like this hmm some of the shape is like this some of the shape is like this right so you can find different shapes around you in a different objects these shape are the plain shape when you look at the door of your room so you can find a particular shape in the door okay when you look a cupboard or drawers or a bottle you can find a different shapes in that so in everywhere around you you can find different shapes right so we are going to study about these basic shapes these shapes which are two dimensional we will study about the 2d shapes and their properties i will start from the book you can see shapes all around you as i discuss with you guys you can see in any object you will find every object will have some shape okay trace the outlines of these shape you can see this this is the uh, shape of the a uh, restroom door when you go to the airport or mall and you need to use a restroom or washroom so you will find this and you will go to here in biscuit you can find circle shape okay one shape so you can find shape around you everywhere sami hijazi don't send use this message okay so we are going to discuss the first shape which is try angle so i am going to share a new screen with you guys can you see the new screen yes very good guys this shape is known as try angle what is this shape called try angle can you repeat what is this shape called because very good guys this is try angle 
triangle is a 2d shape a two dimension shape guys which have three sides and three corners now the question comes in our mind sir what is side you say sides what are sides so guys the flat parts of the shape are called sides look at this line is this a straight line yes guys is it a straight line yes very good you can check the sides by checking the side uh, by checking the lines straight lines in a two d shape like this is the first side this is the second side and this is the third side i can show you by drawing some lines here with the help of you can see this is the main the base of this shape okay one line one side with another line you can check the another side this is the another side second side and here this one is the third side so triangle is a 2d shape which have three sides okay triangle is a 2d shape which have three sides how many sides does the triangle have very good it is having three sides i show you this is one two and three so any 2d shape guys which have two dimensions which you can measure in with two dimensions any shape if they have three sides that's mean this is triangle triangle i tell you for checking the side you will just check the lines just check the straight lines okay and in that way you will be able to find out how many sides are there this side this side and this side this is triangle so i will write here it has three sides okay now the second word which uh, we learnt about we which we learn, we are going to learn that is corner what is corner in how many corner does the triangle have so guys it is very easy this is a straight line right is this a straight line yes sir yes sir very good very good guys when you join one straight line with another straight line the point where one straight line meet another straight line this is called corner look this is a straight line from here if i draw one more line this was already i draw first but from the same point i joined one more line i draw one more line so here we have a corner a corner is the point where one line meet another line a corner is a point where one line meet another line one side meeting another side is that clear guys what is corner Yes. Very good. So you can see how many corners does the triangle have. Look, this is the corner. This line is meeting this line on this point. So this is corner number one, and this line is meeting this slope line here. so this is corner number 2 and these two slope lines are meeting at this point so this is corner number 3 so triangle is a 2d shape which have three sides and three corners triangle is a 2d shape which have three sides and three corners okay guys 
now you will answer me that in triangle how many sides and how many corners are there tell me in the chat box in a triangle how many sides and how many corners are there we will write the number dash sides dash corners suleiman tariq very good okay three sides how many corners suleiman oman nazar no time knife no mohammad kashan very good three sides oman nazar mohammad kashan very good three corners mohammad ali three what sayed uzaifa three sides very good arshman mohammad talha very good mohammad ali there three sides three corners very good uzaifa rash three sides okay how many corners yahya yusuf very good oman nazar time knife three what arish three corners okay suleiman lugeli three corners okay Muhammad Ali, three corners. Very good. Sayyid Zafar, three corners. Okay. How many sides and how many corners? Answer properly. Suleiman Lugeli, three sides. Very good. And how many corners? Suleiman Lugeli, Muhammad Nomen, three sides. Very good. Omar Mahsen, Omar Nizar Sami Hijazi, three what? Muhammad Mamoun, three what? Ahmad Al Badi, very good. Three sides and three corners. Time, three what? Omar Nizar, three what? Suleiman Tare. Uh, Three corners. Very good. How many sides? Muhammad Ali. Three sides and three corners. Abdul Mohit. Three sides. Umar Nizar. Three what? Sadiq Ali. Very good. Three sides and three corners. That's very good answer. All right, guys. So you all know now that a triangle uh, has how many sides? I'm going to open your mic and you will repeat. How many sides? Very good. Three sides. And how many corners does the triangle have? Three. 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 Very good. Triangle has three sides and three corners. Guys, now I will tell you how you can draw a triangle. Okay, in your notebook because we will do some work in our notebook also, but not now. Later on, inshallah, in the next class. Look, guys, for drawing a triangle, you will just draw a straight horizontal line like this. This is your first word. Then you will join this line with a slope line, and you will draw like this. join it from here and it should not be straight there should be a slope it should be little bends towards right then join this line with the same point and also from the bottom and also from the top we draw a straight line horizontal join that horizontal with the line a little bends towards right side and then this from this line same point join up to the bottom of the line in that way you can make a triangle okay can you make a triangle guys very good but don't need to draw right now don't need to draw right now uh in the next classes we will draw triangle and we will write some uh, pro these properties in the notebook also okay so let erase it okay let's erase it wait for a while guys so i am going to erase it now guys i am showing you i will show you the triangle can we have we can have triangle in a different shapes okay i am going to show that it has three sides and three corners and i am going to show you how we can have a different triangles so let me draw a one triangle for you this is the one triangle okay 
you can see it has three sides and three corners but what guys if i rotate it little into clockwise look this shape now is it a triangle this shape no 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 this is also a triangle boys this is also a triangle the definition we learned about triangle that a 2d shape which have three sides and three corners check the sides here in this shape how many sides one hmm then two then three three sides how many corners one two three so why it is not triangle it is also triangle any shape any 2d shape which have three sides or three corners is called triangle so now tell me again is this shape a triangle or not yes it is sir <laughs> very good i am going to draw one more i am going to draw one more 2d shape here and you have to tell me about this okay this is triangle but what about this is it a triangle guys this shape third one is it a triangle yes yes, yes. Guys, don't play. Answer properly. Yes or no? Yes, yes, sir. Very good. It's very good. It, very good. It is also triangle. How do you know? Because this shape also have three sides and three corners. You can see here. Look. i can show you by drawing line this is side 1 hmm this is side 2 and this is side 3 three. three sides now if you check the corners 1 2 3 also three corners let's draw one more shape and check whether it is a triangle or not look at this shape and tell me is it a triangle or not fourth shape is it a triangle or not yes, yes it's a triangle very good guys it is also a triangle because it is having three sides and three corners guys if i draw one shape like this tell me now is it a triangle this shape is it a triangle or not it's a triangle look guys this is also a triangle why because you know the definition of triangle a 2d shape which have three sides or three corners so look here this is side 1 this is side 1 then you have side 2 and this is side 3 now you will check the corners this line vertical line joining with this slope line here one corner second corner this one and third corner this one so this is also a triangle now if i rotate this like this now tell me is it a triangle guys 
Very good. It is also a triangle because it is also having three sides and three corners. Okay. If I draw one more shape and make me like this. Tell me about this shape. Is it a triangle? Yes, yes, Very good. So you know about the triangle. That triangle is a 2D shape which have three sides and three corners. Now we will learn a new shape. Look at this shape. This shape is known as rectangle. This is a 2D shape which have four sides and four corners. You can see this shape around you. The door, the cupboard, bed, book, paper. The shapes are in rectangular form. You can find too many shapes around you which are in rectangular form. Okay. How it is having four sides guys? I will show you. Look at this side. This is side number one. This is side number two. This is side number three. And this is side number four. So it is having four sides. When you talk about the corners, so this is corner one. Look, I can show you with the help of circle. This is corner one. This is corner two here. This is corner number three. And this is corner number four. So there are four sides and four corners in the rectangle. So look around yourself guys and tell me which rectangular shape you can see around you in your room. In your room, which rectangular shape you can see around you. Tell me any object which have rectangle shape. Send messages guys. Muhammad Talha, door, very good. Muhammad Talha, TV, very good. Siddhi Ghalib, door, very good. Ahmad Albadi, window, very good. Muhammad Ali, door and table, very good. Ahmad Albadi is saying desk, very good. Ashman Aziz, door. Arish is saying laptop, very good. Umar Mahsin, window. Ahmad Albadi, razor. Yusuf Mahmood, door. Umar Nizar, table. Very good. Umar Mahsin, windows. Ahmad Albadi, book. Muhammad Ali, book. Muhammad Kashan, cupboard, mirror, very good. Ahmad Albadi, box. Yusuf, TV. Suleiman, paper. Sayyid Uzafa, table. Uzafa Rashid, television. Drawer, Yusuf Mahmood. Chair, tab, shoe box. Very good. This is very good, guys. Computer. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your answers, guys. So, uh, our class time is also finished, guys. Uh, we will start from here. We'll continue from here. Inshallah, in, from the next week. Take care of yourself. I'll meet you, inshallah, into the next class. Take care. Bye-bye. Allah Hafiz. Bye-bye. 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 B